may now request Professor Nirmal Kumar Ganguly, the President of the Foundation, to kindly deliver the welcome address. Professor Ganguly really needs no introduction. He was the former Director General of the Indian Council of Medical Research, and he is now a visiting Professor of Eminence in the Policy Center for Biomedical Research, Translational Health Science and Technology Institute in Gurgaon, and the Honorary Senior Research Professor, Institute of Liver and Biliary Sciences in New Delhi, Formerly, the president of the Jawaharlal Institute of Postgraduate Medical Education and Research in Pondicherry, as well as that of the Asian Institute of Public Health in Bhubaneswar, Odisha. Professor Ganguly has several national and international fellowships and has received more than 100 national and international awards, including the prestigious Padma Bhushan, awarded by Her Excellency in the field of medicine in 2008. He has more than 775 publications in peer-reviewed journals and more than 22 book chapters. <coughs> Professor Ganguly. Thank you, Sharad. And uh, you know, <coughs> Professor Anil Kumar Tyagi, the, our chief guest today, and the Vice Chancellor of IP University. And many eminent personalities today, Dr. Yakota, Dr. Bruno Pot, Dr. Nano, I just, and I, I could spend a lot of time taking the names, but uh, they have come all over the world and uh, to be with you today. And from the Europe, from the United States, from France, from Japan, and uh, are with us today to again make an en endeavor to a group of invited scientists to provide the latest knowledge in the key areas and this year's theme is the bench to practice. So there will be some basic science and there will be some translational science all mixed together to present you a bouquet. And as Nirja said, there will be 20 posters which will be coming from all over India from the young scientists and their mentors. It gives me great pleasure in welcoming Professor Anil Kumar Tyagi. Uh, he is a, a scientist first and vice chancellor last, in my opinion, uh, because uh, it has been a pleasure looking at his dedicated approach to one single bug that is uh, mycobacteria. And this bug infected him in uh, his uh, uh, stint in the VP chest uh, biochemistry department under the leadership of one of the most gentle scientists and uh, warm scientists in this country, Dr. T.A.V. Subramaniam. And this melting pot actually uh, created huge number of eminent scientists uh, in India today. And they are occupying very important positions all around. Dr. Tyagi then uh, joined the South Campus as a faculty and later on rose to be the uh, chief of the department as well as uh, the, uh, the leading professor in, in this science. And uh, during his uh, uh, career, he unraveled a huge number of uh, new achievements. He gave a very new meaning to mycobacteria and its interaction with the hosts. His uh, work also identified novel antigens, as we found in, find in the probiotics, and their interactions in all dimensions. He also found out novel promoters in mycobacteria and used it as an expression system and solved large number of leading issues because previous expressions used to destroy the mycobacteria. So he created systems where the expression is very fine-tuned and controlled and uh, it becomes optimized to create a vaccine. He ultimately created a vaccine and moved it through 
lot of hurdles and positioned it uh, in the stable of other vaccines which are at the moment candidate vaccines. His wife, Dr. Jayatyagi, is also eminent scientist in this particular area and uh, also works interestingly in this, uh, on, on this bug, but uh, more on the area of pathogenesis than, than vaccine creation. Dr. Tyagi then, uh, he has published extensively. He, is, uh, he got the Shanti Sarup Bhatnagar Award, which is one of the hallmark of the, our eminent scientists, that every scientist who moves up in India craves for this award and very few make it. And he's one of them who did it. And he's also a fellow of all the National Science Academies in India and have published extensively more, more than a century of papers in, in his coveted subject. <coughs> so we every year invite a academician and scientists to inaugurate this, this. And this year we are very fortunate. Dr. Tyagi agreed to be the chief guest and deliver the inaugural address. Briefly, uh, we, without uh, this, this particular science uh, is moving very fast. And interestingly, we didn't get started in 2011. This is our seventh uh, symposium. And we have, uh, we have published proceedings on all the seven. And uh, we created a foundation to become uh, to have an umbrella under which to operate independently. Previously, we operated under ICMR banner, under NIN banner, under THSTI banner, all, all institute partnership banner. But now we are after the establishment and foundation and also getting all the regulatory approvals. We are now able to operate in our own banner. And, and create an uh, ambience as well as an atmosphere where we will be able to meet every year and look at the promotion of science. Without these friendly bugs, we will be like an autobiotic animal and will not survive. And uh, the science is so good. Uh, today you will uh, listen to the science, but I only uh, take one theme to tell you the importance of this. Since uh, the years we have traversed globally, uh, we are moving towards MDG goal, except few countries, most are moving towards that. And we have halved the number of infant deaths globally. Some countries, of course, done very well, both in the developing and developed countries, as well as the maternal mortality. However, we have doubled the number of obese people around the globe. The Europe and United States takes the cake, the largest number of obese people over there. And in uh, developing countries, we are progressing very fast. And uh, I'm really ashamed to say that I also come under the definition of those obese guys. <laughs> And uh, the science of the science of the probiotic is really moving towards solving this particular problem, because one of the major thing which we have learned now that these bugs with their unique signatures they fine tune our metabolic apparatus, and it is all around whether gut, whether pancreas, whether liver. Whether, whether it is brain, it almost every place it is just like, uh, like uh, orchestra misto runs their orchestra. These guys are doing that and some very nice publications in, uh, in uh, animals and some uh, data in humans show that this could be, this cannot replace all other 
forms in which you handle obesity, but will be a very strong factor in dealing with that. And if we could deal with that, we deal with a huge number of other conditions and diseases amongst us. So there's only one area which I highlighted. You will be having a feast of the things and areas where you will find that they have a hand. So it gives me great pleasure to welcome you all in this symposium and please enjoy uh, and uh, please don't miss a single lecture. Be here and you will get a lot of surprises while you stay here. Thank you very much for coming.